Chernobyl, we are now in the city that used to be full of life. Here the people lived that worked at the station. Now it's a dead city. Talking about nuclear energy, we know that there are hundreds and hundreds of experts that are promoting nuclear energy, but there are not less, but maybe even more people, more experts that are opposing that. I think that this issue is of such concern for the future that we need to provide a preemptive caution uh, before taking additional or new steps in this direction. That uh, we should not, uh, you know, start doing something which we cannot control. And this is exactly the situation with, with, uh, with uh, Chernobyl, because uh, the, uh, uh, the nuclear power plant was established, but we failed to control the consequences. We conceptualize our energy policy, our energy strategy, and uh, reconsider the possibility to unfold new nuclear power, pl power plants in the future. They're completely unsafe, whether it's a human mistake or natural disaster, as Fukushima has shown, uh, are involved. And in addition to that, all the uh, speculations about the economic efficiency are grossly overestimated. In reality, the price of uh, nuclear energy is much higher than the price of the new renewable energy, even now. The work of Green Cross International in Chernobyl and related to the Chernobyl consequences is of a growing uh, importance. Uh, we have been working on that already for almost 15 years. Unfortunately, a lot more will be needed. And I hope that the work of Green Cross not only will be helping the people affected by this catastrophe 26 years ago, but will also help to raise awareness and to open eyes to the people in the world to the dangers of this industry.